Welcome back. We're going to be looking at a problem with that has to do with density. And this will be a general problem in that we won't have too many numbers to deal with. We're going to be dealing with the more like the ideas. And that'll become clear in a moment. Here is the problem. We have one sphere that has uh, radius r and mass m. That'll be that guy. Then we have another one that has radius 2r and mass 2m. <laughs> kind of looks like fried eggs, doesn't it? <laughs> Weird eggs, okay. Let's do this now. We need to have a couple things. We need to have the formula for a sphere. And there we have the one. And here is the other one when we take into consideration that its radius is twice the radius of this one. Okay. Otherwise, they look pretty much the same. I have color-coded these so that it will be easier to follow what's happening. And I've labeled everything. If this were a problem that you were doing uh, by hand with, with paper, I would want you to draw a picture, label everything, show me the formulas that you're going to use, and then show me the idea of how to solve the problem. In order to do that, we're going to have to use the definition of density. And that's where, where this comes in. This is called rho, and rho is typically used for density. All right, let's continue with this then. Now, we have our mass, we have our volume, and as you can see, I haven't multiplied anything out, I haven't plugged anything in, because we're doing a, a general solution to something like this. Uh, and of course, our question is, which of these spheres has the highest density? So let's just put down what we know and use, use the formula. Here it is, and here's the other one, okay? They're pretty similar. You can see that this one here, we're going to have to deal with that too, and we'll have to deal with this one. But let's, let's continue. Let's, let's just see how this progresses. And it will get a little bit complicated, and I know that in the beginning it can be difficult to keep track of fractions and things. Uh, so let's, let's just take the next step. I'm going to leave this one alone. Uh, this one here, I'm gonna, gonna try to show you how I would approach this. You can do it however you like, as long as you're consistent and don't break any of the math rules. But this is the way I would approach it. I, I look here and I say, okay, there's a two there, and I'm gonna have to deal with the other twos on the bottom. So let's, Let's just, for a second, take the two that's out on top there, leaving everything else, and let's take this one here now, and you know it's raised to the power of three. That means two times two times two, okay? Sorry, a little bit messy. All right, we can then see that up here, this two would cross out with one of those, leaving a one there up on top, okay? and that allows us then to just deal with those twos, and that will be right here. Do you see how this two is gone from that spot right now? It's actually just like there's a one there if you'd like. I need to <laughs> clean this up just a little so you can see it. So let, let's try to follow it again real slowly. What I'm doing is I'm crossing out one of the twos right there with this one. They take each other out. It leaves a one that doesn't really show up because when you have a, a one there, you don't usually put it there. Okay, but it's there nonetheless. I didn't do anything with this. And the, the two twos that are left from this little thing is now right there. Okay? 
let's go on. You can always watch this another time or pause and, and try to catch up. So let's just see the next step then. All right. What I now have done is I have left this part alone. That's, that's right here. Okay. And before I said there was, there was kind of a one right here. That one and this four is this right here. Okay. Hope you can see that. If not, go ahead and pause, get a piece of paper out and just try it yourself. This is why fractions are so important and it allows you to see things that you might not otherwise see. Now you can see that this is the same as that. Can you see that? The only difference between this density and this one is this factor. Okay? So what does that mean? It means that the blue density, okay, is one-fourth the other density. 